In my last video I showed uh, the Ansel One Ultra being unboxed and now it's time to fire it up and see how it works. Uh, one thing I found out quickly was to make sure that you plug that Ethernet cable into the correct Ethernet port. So if you're looking at the back of the machine it's that bottom left port. Um, so that's important. And uh, then once you fire it up you log in with uh, your default credentials and you can start creating virtual machines. They call them antlets um, and there are a few available out of the box. I've downloaded a couple of extra ones and uh, let's just create an Ubuntu one now. And you can use either LXC or KVM. All the um, virtual machines I've created so far have been LXC. That's what's recommended in the documentation for best performance. Go ahead and choose 4 gig of RAM for this virtual machine and click create. You can see they get provisioned very quickly and then you can just start it right up. So that's uh, the biggest thing I noticed so far the difference between uh, working with an Ansel versus working like on AWS or something like that, these things get provisioned in seconds and they start up quickly. Now I will SSH to the Ansel box itself, which is the host for the virtual machine that was just created. Um, log in with the default credentials. And from here, then I can SSH to the virtual machine using the internal IP address, in this case 10.1.1.10. And just to, you can see it's Ubuntu already from the login splash, but if I just cat the Etsy LSB release, I can see that this is Ubuntu 16.04. Well, doing two SSH hops every time I want to get to my box is annoying, um, so let's fix that. And the way to do that is to add a bridged network adapter. So I'll go ahead and stop the machine. And I always want to click that more button, but that's not where it is. You click the machine name, then go to virtual network, then new virtual NIC. Let's take the defaults here. Great. Now we have a new network card. We can start up the image then we'll have to do a little bit of config on the uh, OS side to make this work. So let's connect. Looks like it's not up. There it is. And for Ubuntu, that is in Etsy Network. And then interfaces below that. And I'll just duplicate the existing uh, Ethernet config and just rename it to ETH1. And I'm just going to change this. I don't know why. I'm just going to change this uh, name server here. No reason. Um, and then save this. And now um, I'll just bring up the Ethernet adapter that we just configured and it's just talking to my router getting an IP address there it is great now I can start up a new window and go directly to that box from my Mac all right perfect so that's an Ubuntu virtual machine running on the Ansel. Let's create another one. Let's do a CentOS machine this time. I kind of wish these names were longer or if they weren't longer then provide some way to tag these machines or add comments or something um, because as I build up my library of these I'm going to probably start to lose track of exactly 
what these are. So I started up the machine. Let's go ahead and add the um, NIC bridged network adapter. And then start it up. It says it's running. You'll see um, in that little CPU meter there, uh, it's pretty much, it's pretty, you know, it's not utilized a whole lot. These are pretty cheap operations that we're doing here. You might see a few spikes from time to time in the um, next video where we actually have a real, real loads running. Um, you'll start to see more that CPU more utilized. All right, for CentOS, the network is in sysconfig. And I need to change the directory. I don't, there we go. All right, so we'll just copy the existing config for ETH0 into ETH1 and edit that. And we can do a shutdown on that machine. Oh, I should have just done a reboot instead of a shutdown, but that's okay. Over here in the Ant-Man console, we, can, we saw that it stopped and now we can just start it back up. So basically the idea here is now I'll now that I have sort of a base image for each of the main operating systems that I typically use for my development tasks, I will start to build up a library with different things. So I'll have um, uh, an Elasticsearch base image, I'll have an Alfresco base image, I'll have a Tomcat base image, whatever it is that I'm um, sort of want to have a templates to start from. And then when I'm doing some client work and I need to do uh, an Elasticsearch project, for example, I can just grab, I can just start from my Elasticsearch image. I don't have to reinstall everything, configure everything, and then I'll be set. I'll show more of that in the next video. Um, so here I'm just showing, I'm just connecting via the, um, uh, directly from my Mac.